Hello everyone and welcome! Thanks for joining me today. We're going to be applying tenacity and taking care of weeds in my lawn, finally! I actually skipped mowing for the last couple of days just to get the weeds growing as much as possible. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you how I actually mix this up. And for a little bit more broad spectrum weed control, I'm going to be applying this tank mixed with the tenacity for the first application. You can see the active ingredients is 2,4-D, quinchloric, and dicamba, and sulfentrazone. Now the quinchloric and sulfentrazone are good for weedy type grasses, so quinchloric, quinchloric specifically is usually targeted for crabgrass, which it says plus crabgrass on here. And the sulfentrazone is good for a lot of nut sedges and things like that, so that's what it says on the label here. 2,4-D and dicamba is good for quick knockdown of your broadleaf weeds. Whereas the tenacity, I'm going to double hit everything just to really get a good knockdown with the grassy type weeds as well. If you look at the label, it'll tell you exactly what it targets and what it doesn't. So mixed together, we're going to uh, mix that up. It actually comes with this little syringe. Now typically for spot spraying, it'll tell you to apply one teaspoon per two gallons of water. I'm actually doing uh, a little bit higher rate since you can apply us at four to eight ounces per acre. Doing the math, I can do about halfway in between there. At about six ounces per acre, that is three quarters of a teaspoon of tenacity per 1,000 square feet. So that is what we're gonna apply it at. And you know, I'm doing a broadcast application across my entire lawn. So, uh, Please hit subscribe and like and leave a comment if you find this useful or if you have any questions or anything like that. So stick around and we're going to mix this up and put it in my sprayer. If you guys remember from last time when I did a mixing video, I was mixing up some insecticide and the principles remain the same for mixing up herbicides. So what you really need to do is uh, fill up your container, your sprayer about halfway with water, plain straight water from the tap. Mix up your chemicals, which in this case I'm going to actually be using a bucket and combining the two with a little bit of water and then pouring the bucket into the container, shaking it up to agitate and pouring the remaining water in. So, uh, you know, as I've stressed in the past, always make sure you read the label, make sure you're following the instructions and doing things the proper way and being safe about everything before you proceed. So, you know, I'll go ahead and get straight to it. Alright, I brought it back inside here on the bench so I don't spill anything. Like I said, read the label, it'll tell you exactly how much to use. Directions, 5 ounces per 1,000. So let's go ahead and get that measured out. And I'm going to be mixing them together in a bucket just for simplicity's sake here. That's what the paint stirrer is for and I can mix multiple chemicals together. And it'll be a good example for you guys. PPE.
And we'll make sure we rinse off all this measurement stuff when we're done here. That's what the paint stir stick is for, is I'm going to mix it up now. And then we take a bucket, small bucket here, and we pour it into our tank. So this is how you incorporate, mul incorporate multiple chemicals into a spray mix. Give it a real good stir. We're still going to shake it and agitate before we spray it, so we'll take it out to the sprayer. Now I'm doing this in the evening hours. Well, the sun's going down while it's not super windy, so that's important. We're going to have good even spray coverage. Okay, we'll mix that up. Very carefully. This is how I make sure I get all of it. I try to keep the wand about knee height. Keep pressure up, keep pumping as you go along, and yeah, make sure you do overlapping passes. And you know, it helps if you have like a blue spray mark, a blue dye that you can add to the solution, but you don't have to do that. I don't like to use that stuff because it's messy. So, all right, here we go with spraying. <laughs> 